How's it going everyone? In this video we're going to be going over the top 5 apps you can use to edit your toy photos right on your phone for free. The most requested videos I get are do more phone videos and just about everyone's looking for something good to use to edit your photos right on your phone, especially if you're using your phone for your toy photography and editing right on your phone. Also to put right on Instagram is easy. And I also want to mention too, for more phone tips, I have a bunch of tutorials already for phones. I'll have them listed in the description below right here for other ones like that. So I have five apps that I've used that have been recommended to me and just a couple that will be really good as far as editing, removing wires, adding effects, adding all kinds of cool stuff. So I'm really excited to go over these with you and hopefully they'll be very helpful. And also just about all of these apps have a free version and then like upgrade for whatever, like five bucks for the whole thing or something. It's great that all of these are free, but it might actually be pretty good to invest the couple dollars just to get the full access to all the things that these apps have. because. They can actually be pretty helpful. There's a lot of actually really impressive stuff these apps can do. So app number one is Snapseed. This is one I usually recommend anytime anyone's asking me what kind of app should I use to edit my photos. Snapseed is great. It's easy. It's free. It's completely free. You can remove your wires on it. You can edit everything you need to do. You can adjust the lighting and color and just about everything. Always recommend Snapseed. It's one of the best, I think phone apps to use. And I do have a full kind of tutorial on how I used it in this video up here that I have linked. If you want some more info on Snapseed and more detail, definitely check out that video. So the next app I'm going to recommend is one called Polish. Uh, this was recommended to me by somebody named Comic Dad 42 shots Great guy, great photos, definitely check him out. But this is a really good app because you can do effects, just about everything you need here. So I'm going to pull it up on here just to show off some of the cool stuff it can do. So I've got it open right here and we've got Indie. This is a shot I did before. And so if we want to just look at the some of the effects it's got, this is what the first thing that had me really impressed over here was if I go to neon or something, there's all kinds of light effects you can add in, lens flares, stuff like that. But one thing that's really impressive, if you add in something like let's say this app, it actually recognizes where my subject of the photo is. See how it's going behind him like that? It's actually understanding where he is and it actually makes it look like it's part of the photo and it's layered in there, which is actually pretty cool. A lot of these apps, the effects can feel pretty limited, like like this water shot and these special effects shots. Obviously these don't really fit with this Indiana Jones photo, but when you're looking through these effects, you can go through and, and see what you have available and then kind of structure your photos around what you have available in here. So if I wanted to do something with this cool yellow spinny thing, be like, that could be a really cool Dragon Ball Z shot where like somebody's spinning and then I could take the photo with this in mind, use this effect later, and then it'll fit perfectly. So that's something um, to always keep in mind with these apps, especially if you're you know a little bit more limited effects and stuff that these have to choose from. So if you go scroll over here to add, you can add stuff in. And so if I want to add in something that's already a PNG, that's got a clear background, it'll recognize a PNG. So if I want to change this to having, instead of C-3PO, boom. Like anything you have that's a PNG, if you download something, if you have any of the effects that I have for download, you can use them on this because they're PNGs, which is really cool. And of course, you've also got things like uh, removing stuff. So if I wanted to go and remove Indy's hand or something, you know, you've also got that stuff. You've got everything in here. So removing wires. Polish is a great all around app. I definitely recommend checking out this one. Okay, so the next app is called PixArt, which is another app that was recommended to me by Luke and Shoots Toys. Uh, really great app. A lot of these apps are pretty impressive. So if you open up PixArt, there's a lot you can do with this. It's got all your basic needs for editing anyway, but it's also got some really cool stuff that I was actually pretty impressed with as well. So go to the effects over here. Uh, go to something like blur. This was something I actually I was really impressed with. So if you check out this background blur, it says try. It's going to load a little bit and it's going to actually recognize where the background is, the subject is, and blur your background, which is really cool. I love a good blurred background. Got some cool AI stuff as well. So if you want to make your picture look like a cartoon, uh, let's see how that looks. That's actually really cool. That actually fits quite nicely with, uh, with this, which is kind of cool. I was not expecting to think that was actually cool. Another thing that's really cool on here, if you go back, 
uh, and go to the clone tool. So this actually has the ability to clone stuff. Click on tools and then click on clone. And this is something I use in Photoshop all the time, but this actually has this. So to clone something, if I want to clone this helmet down here, where Mando's helmet is, I select where I want to clone. So now it's cloning right there. So now that I have the brush down here, if I want to put the Mando helmet over here too, boom. There we go. Now I've got the Mando helmet over there as well because I cloned it down by the, at the bottom there. So that's really cool, the fact that you can clone stuff. The next thing that is really cool is over, if you scroll over, it's got a lens flare option. So look at all these lens flares you get to choose from. Here we go. I can make it bigger if I want. Move it around if I, if I want to put it over here in the sky. I've got a lens flare there, so that's cool. That's really cool. There's so much you can do with this app. So PixArt is a great app. Definitely recommend using this one. Okay, so the next app is called Wordle, and this is one that was also recommended to me by a guy named Will Enforce. We actually talked about it on an interview we did on the channel, so if you want to watch that, there's that as well. So this is really cool. You can do just normal editing, you can add effects, and you can even add like animations and stuff to your photos, which uh, there's a lot to this app. So if we go over, over here to the effects, there's like a starter pack of different effects. You can add like all this stuff here, and it moves, so that's cool. And this is awesome. You could do a lot of stuff with this. Flame. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add, look at, you can put a Dragon Ball Z animation thing on here. I should've done that. Or you can add a lightsaber. Lightsaber app, free lightsaber right here in Warble. Uh, so look at this, this lens flare I think will fit with this. So I'm gonna put it, there it is. So if, if I wanna make the lens flare move a little bit, I'll go to uh, pulse. And so now my lens flare is moving around. So that's really cool. You can take any of these effects, move it around, and then you can post a animated kind of thing on Instagram, which I always think is really cool. Definitely give Warble a shot. I mean, just the fact you have a lightsaber effect in there is incredibly helpful. So the last app I'm gonna recommend here, which is one that I just discovered today, which I think is actually really cool. So it's one called Focus. So if I pull up the Focus app here, I took this picture, of Ahsoka today on my phone. So there's that. So this is how it looks initially, but it used like AI to recognize where the subject is and you can adjust the aperture of your photo afterwards. So basically you can make the background blurry. And so like basically look, as you scroll it, it's actually adjusting the background. So like that's really cool. That alone is something really, really cool. And you can adjust where you want the focus to be too. So if you click on focus, it gives you the focus line. See that little line that's moving backwards? The focus line. So if you move it, I want the focus to be right on Ahsoka's face. It's hitting right on her face right there. Boom, now it's right there. And it's got a ton of other normal stuff too. But that about this app was the coolest thing. I really like the fact that you can do that. There's so much. So these are the top five apps that I know of that are really good for editing your toy photography, putting them on Instagram. So I definitely recommend checking those out. If you have any other apps that are really helpful for you or some other tips with these apps, please drop them in the comments below. I really want to know so then we can share it with the world. So if you're looking for other apps too, check the comments to see if anybody's posted anything. Yeah, that's about it. I hope these are helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.